You know, for my money, when I'm working in Storyline, it is hard to beat the good old light box. It's just so darn easy to use and it looks great. For example, let's say that you want to quickly create a media gallery like the one that you see here. Now you've probably seen something like this before. You're on a website and you click on a photo or in this case a video and suddenly it gets superimposed above the top of the site and everything else behind it fades away. Well this is called the shadow box or the light box effect and creating a media gallery like this in Storyline is super easy. Let's go take a look at how we would set this up. So I'm here in Storyline and I have a basic setup. I have a basic slide. You'll notice there are no triggers applied yet. I've got three shapes here and over here on the right I have three empty slides. Now the way that the light box effect works is that one slide is superimposed on top of the other. So if I would like a video to be superimposed above this slide here, I would add a video to a different slide and then add a trigger that says light box or superimpose that slide above this one. Now, it's kind of cool because the slides don't have to be next to one another. So if you're using, say, a course menu, you could have an entire scene like this one here and you could have it hidden. You don't have to have it in your course menu to be able to light box them. So you could think of this as a scene that's simply holding your media. So let's set this up. All I have to do first is come in and add my media to these three slides. Let's put some video in here. I'm going to insert video from file one, insert video from file two, and insert video from file three. So now I have three videos here on these placeholder slides or my light box slides. All I have to do is come back to my main slide here and add the triggers. And the trigger is going to be very simple. It's simply going to say light box a slide. You choose which one. This one right here when the user clicks this oval. So now I can copy that trigger, apply it to these two shapes, and simply come over to the trigger area and say, well, on oval number two, let's show that video. And on oval number three, show this video. And my friends, that's all there is to it. That's all there is, is to creating a media gallery in Storyline. So if we preview the project now, there's one, there's two, and there is three. And it is that simple. Now, the answer for those of you that are wondering, well, couldn't I just do this on a slide with triggers and layers? Absolutely, you could do that, and you could add some great functionality to it as well. But for sheer speed of putting something like this together, you just cannot beat the light box. So, if you have any questions on creating a media gallery or using light boxes in some different and creative ways, come on over to the eLearning Heroes forums at articulate.com, and we will do our best to help you out. Take care.